Hey there, welcome back. Okay, I have to remember how to play this. This is a new play session. Uh, okay, I do remember I watched the last of the... or the end of the last episode. I remember I have to go back to Decatus for some reason. I think we're going to find our fourth person, I hope. Uh, I haven't played this in a week since uh, last uh, week or whatever. Uh, I did some extra episodes last weekend just because I was on such a roll I didn't even notice how many episodes I was doing, so... It's actually been, uh, extra days since I played this. Okay, so we just gotta talk to people, I guess? Alright. Okay, actually, let's go to the shop and see if we can get, uh, Cody equipped. We don't really know anything about him, his character. Uh, okay, so let's... Let's, uh, let me just look and see what he's got on first. Okay, he's got a spear leather armor. Uh, he might actually... There might not actually be anything that's better than that. Let me just see what they have for sale. Okay, all this shit is... Because the spear, I'm pretty sure, was 900. Okay, so we got two weapon shops, so... I'm not sure why. I mean, I'm assuming they have different stuff, right? Uh, just shitty stuff? Okay. Actually, oh, okay. I was about to say, maybe, uh, BZ can put the hammer on, but no. Okay, yeah, I don't know if that has some sort of, um, effect. Maybe it sometimes stuns or something, because it's a hammer. I don't know. Okay, armor shop, I'm assuming, won't have anything better. Nope, I'm pretty sure, uh, Cody had leather shoes on. Just take a second and check. Yeah, this does look like Cecil's Sprite. I'm pretty sure he even had the, like, the red and yellow even looks, uh, familiar. Oh, this is old shit, okay. Okay, so I guess we just gotta fucking talk to people. Boy, this is gonna be a fun episode, huh? The episode of talking to people, yay. Doesn't matter who's the mayor, since things never change here. Hey, it's kinda like America! <laughs> This town couldn't be better. Oh, it's not like America. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. Uh, this is no place for kids. Leave now. I have a feeling the bartender will say the same thing. Or the the milk tender, or whatever. Place for kids. Leave now. Alright, jeez. Don't want to be in your shitty milk bar with full of fucking barrels anyway, you fucking weirdo. I mean, we're already right here, so let's just go in here since we're here. I know I didn't explore that other area. I usually like to be, like, methodical when I explore shit, but... Uh, you're going to live here. Oh, damn it. Okay, so a lot of the people are just going to say the same shit. Okay, I remember making a comment about that, I think. Where would be the most likely place to go, I wonder? Uh, oh, there was, uh, this middle door was locked. I think, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this, one of these doors was locked. So, let's see if, uh, now it's opened? Aha! Wait, was this locked? Hello, we got some rabbis here. Who are you? You have guts to invade our hideout. Get them! Okay. Just gonna be pallet stopped. Pallet... Wow, I read the word stop, I was gonna say pallet swapped. <laughs> That's actually a pretty, uh... I'm Leona, who are you guys? You wish to talk to me? That's actually a pretty sprite. I mean, given that its width is the same as the height. That's about as that's about as good as anyone could expect. You've got a cool helmet or like little horn tiara thingy. Since I dram am here, take her away. Oh, take her away for that reason. <laughs> Five Octalians will forever be apart. That's like Voltron, where they always had to separate one of the the lion pilots so that they couldn't form Voltron, and then they'd always be like, "Well, maybe we could stay like maybe we could fend them off with four lions." The fucking lions were pretty much always worthless. Must have ran to the rich part of town. Okay. They wouldn't had to break down the wall to go to get through. Okay. That is Dram, a big follower of Homicruz. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I've killed any of them. Oh, these were... I wonder if these are just... Uh, this will be the first of the four. The four big ones. And the other ones were just, like, warm-up followers or whatever. Okay, so we got... So we, okay, so we got four guys is what I'm ascertaining from that. Or, you know, four. I mean, I'm not really ascertaining it if it just flat out said it, but it is nice to know that there's at least, like, a number. That was always one of my sort of complaints whenever, um, when, uh, when games would be like, oh, there's eight crystals, or there's, you know, seven stars, or whatever, like in Mario RPG. I mean, not in that game specifically, it's a good game. But I'm always like, 
Like, I don't know, I just thought it was a corny thing that had been reused a bunch of times. But in reality, it does sort of give you a sense of, like, that you're making progression. Like, when you kill one of them, you assume you're a quarter of the way done with the game. Okay, so we have to go to the rich part of town. I'm assuming this area off to the right that was, like, walled off is now open. Uh, maybe? My name is Deblin. Since I hear rumors, ask me anything about this town. Uh, maybe an incident happened in the north block? Wow. The truck have started to move. When things like this happen, the weapon shop's owner always shows up. Did you know that he also tries to sell things when he is outside of the shop? I mean, if you're... I mean, come on. Huh. I wonder if that means there's like a secret shop where I can buy better shit. It's the secret laboratory. What could they be making in there? So... Don't have to go in there? Alright. Oh, from the place where the circus was, you can go off... You can go like right up and there was a closed off place. We can probably go there now. Uh, okay. Yeah, just uh, just like America, everybody just votes for what's best for them, you know. Okay, can we please go in here now? We cannot, son of a bitch. Oh, back to talking to people. Okay, well I thought we had a lead. Uh, gonna lose my job again until the next election. Boo -hoo, boo -hoo. Well, just go take some more lobbyist money or whatever, and and fucking uh, get your campaign funded. Uh, thank you so much for helping, Cody. All right. Oh man, yeah, I noticed in uh, MC Kids, I wasn't. Uh, I did a voice for somebody, and I was like, "Oh, I haven't really been doing any voices in um, in Seventh Saga. Actually, I haven't done really voices in a while. I don't think." What was the RPG I played prior to this? Oh, um... Oh, wait, did I just talk to this guy? Shit. Oh, the last RPG I played was Dungeon Magic. That game really doesn't... You don't really need to do voices for that game, I don't think. Uh, but... But, uh, then prior to that, I was like, I haven't really done any voices in Seven Saga, but then... It's kind of like... Like, the... You know, like, a voice gives a character more, like, personality, but I sort of feel like I wasn't just, you know, without even realizing it, I wasn't really inclined... Hi guys, how's it going? If you're in trouble, come to me, I'll try and help. I'm the mayor of this town. Wow, you're so fucking helpful. Um, I'm not really, like, drawn in by, like, the characters. To, like, feel like they have a enough personality to warrant giving them a voice. I guess I just subconsciously just didn't think they needed, you know, character, or voice, character voices, just because they seem so fucking... I don't have anything like a ticket. Sell it to me. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. Okay, so yeah, that ticket, I'm pretty sure that was going to be stuck in my inventory if I didn't get rid of it there. Okay. Okay, what was I saying a second ago? Um, okay, I gotta also try to find someone to talk to. Did I go in here? I probably did. It's the church, okay. But yeah, just none of the characters, just, I feel like none of the characters really have enough personality to... To, I just didn't feel like giving them a voice, I guess, without even realizing it. It's just because it's just so obvious that they're just NPCs. Like, there's no... I don't know. Okay, I already talked to you. And then plus, like, the translation is so bad, I have a hard time, like, putting myself in the world that of people that talk so poorly. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm living a life where I'm an lp -er that sometimes talks very poorly. <laughs> uh, this town of money power? Okay, it's the same thing you already said. It's expensive, yes, I remember that. I already said that. Okay. Uh, this house. Man. Okay, yeah, I, I made a comment that, like, I, okay, I remember going in here. I made a comment something like, well, there's no customers in here, so you should be selling to anyone who comes in. Just to, you know, boost sales and shit. It's me, Uncle Save! Why is it a coincidence that you just happen to be where you are? I don't get it. Okay, so we got another save. Oh, by the way, I gotta start uh, remembering to double when I do save states. I gotta start doing double save states because uh, this, the the saving in the emulator is different from the Super Nintendo one to the NES one. So I gotta just be careful to not uh, fuck myself over in terms of you know save states and shit. Okay. I mean, I mean, I could get the eight magic back that I used to warp here, but I don't feel like 
I'm more I'm more concerned with just finding the dude we need to talk to. I mean, he's probably not in here. They said to go to the rich part of town. I went there. there I couldn't enter. So what does that leave me with in terms of, like, leads? I wonder if I can speed up the text. Uh... Swap. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. I don't need to do that. I wonder if I just have flat out just two parties that I can just use. Like, could I just use them and just progress, like, with that? I wonder. It's nice for a woman to travel. Well, why don't you travel to the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, I'm already here, so I might as well check all these fucking places. Maybe I need to do something or go somewhere. I like the country also. Isn't... isn't everywhere part of a country, right? <laughs> I mean, you don't... you don't need money to go places, you need money to get into places, I suppose, right? It's not like, oh, you're now entering the forest, please pay. Okay, so okay, so that's... Uh, yay, yay. I mean, I might just cut until I find the person to talk to, because I feel like... I'm just gonna start... See, because I didn't... See, this is where I wasn't methodical at the beginning of the episode, so now I don't remember where I've been and who I've talked to. Actually, there aren't that many buildings. It's fine. I did not go into here, even though I doubt I need to. It's getting to the point where I'm just gonna fucking talk to everybody. Boy, you're doing a little shimmy-sham with your hips there, sir. You're a weird doctor. I'm a pretty nurse named Jill. I am... Oh. Oh, the shit test. I see. You're all building a town and seem happy. I envy you. What do you say to me joining you, if you let me? A doctor who likes me will too? What? What do you say? Okay. Okay, cool. I wonder if that's actually going to benefit me in some way. Uh, maybe I can just go to Old Hill or whatever and then get my poison cured. Even though that won't really be helpful. I have magic that can cure it. So, you look like you were having sleep paralysis or something. Studying math gave me a rash. Oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> Maybe from stress. Okay, we don't need to talk to these fucking people. Okay, so we got the nurse that joined me, but then is still standing there because her sprite cannot walk around the other guy. Uh, okay, fuck. You know what? Okay. I'm just gonna cut until I find who I'm supposed to talk to, because because uh, we gotta find it to keep making progress. And I feel like we wasted enough time. We spent enough time. We walked around. We did pretty much everything. So now I'm stuck. So we'll be right back. Oh my! Where is the owner? I wonder if this is what uh, I was supposed to do. They said the weapon shop guy, but then I was like, well, maybe they meant armor because the translation's just been not good. Uh, okay, so I found the guy that said, where's the owner? And he's gone, so where does that mean I'm supposed to go? Maybe in the left or right uh, house uh, here? Maybe he's in that little secret area off to the right. Uh, probably not. At least I could care of him. Oh, that's the person I brought. Uh, I did something for that per for them. Something to do with their husband, I think. I don't know. Were you here before? There's no food to cook with. What can I do? You can fucking eat your hat for all I care. Okay. Anyway. So now these people are just walking around. Okay. Please save Leona. Please, please, please. I beg you. Wait, why do you want me to say? I thought y'all were bad guys. Oh wait, maybe you're not? I don't know. They must have ran to the rich part of town. They wouldn't... They wouldn't had to break down the walls to go there, though. They wouldn't... I'm assuming that means have. They wouldn't have to break down the wall to go there, though. I don't know. I mean, do I have to go back to the digging guy and have him dig into the fucking part of town? I don't know. And also, why is this part of the wall, like, more narrow? Ah, uh, damn it. I don't fucking know. Maybe there's, um... I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm assuming there, I mean... 
Right here would have been... Oh. Hi, do you like soda, candy, and explosives? I was just about to say, this would be a good place to put a secret. <laughs> what, you ask who I am? Well, I'm working this second job since I need the money. Anyway, what do you say? Why don't you surprise those rich guys? Go for it. These explosives are strong. Only a hundred gold. Want them. Okay, so this is the fucking guy who was selling the extra shit that they mentioned. He's like, he sells when he's not in the shop. Well, if he owns a business or whatever, I mean, can't people just sell things whenever they want? So I'm assuming I gotta put the explosives here, right? Oh, fudge. Okay. Uh, time bomb? Okay, I did it. Okay, we're back. We're officially back. I wasn't sure if that last part was gonna be included. I wasn't sure if that was progress being made. Okay, we're in. We blew up a wall. We did not alert the police or nobody's calling 911 or anything. All right. Okay, new area. Yay. 80 gold. whoop dee flip and do Just means more houses with uh, cabinets and shit to explore. 100 really isn't that much. You can't walk inside the fireplace. They did the thing where the, you're, they positioned it in between, so you're always halfway in it, like, you can't go through it because the, you know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> you're always happy, you can't fully get into it because you're always either too far to the left or too far to the right. I don't know how to say it, but you know what I fucking mean. I can't get into the fireplace for, like, a secret. I'm a rich man, I don't know what to do with all this money. Well, you could buy a better house and maybe some furniture, or maybe you could, like, do, like, furnish it with shit besides fucking barrels. Okay, you can pay a fucking interior decorator to help you help you with your fucking shitty barrel and giant pot uh, situation you got. I'm sick of all these daily parties. Okay. Speaking of steak, rare is the best way to cook it. But having it every night is yucky. Actually, I don't know. I haven't really had steak in a long time, but yeah, I used to like it rare and I could eat it every fucking day. Do you dance the waltz? You have to practice. Actually, to do almost anything, you have to practice. We throw a party almost every night. They cook in the kitchen. So, is this the kitchen? They just got a fireplace in the kitchen? Along with a, with a couple of, like, dr with a dresser? It's kind of weird. Alright, single tree. Is there a secret? Nope. Okay, here, I suppose. Alas, I am now poor. I was the one... I was the one cheated for a change. Oh, well then you fucking got your comeuppance. Okay, so... So he's saying he cheated to get rich? A quick robe? I haven't seen one of those, that might actually be useful. Uh, who should we try to put it on? I don't even know who can put it on. Uh, 13 defense, holy balls. Actually, let's try it on uh, Cody. He's got... Uh, I mean, he's just a lower level, so... Oh, she, uh, you can't put it on. Okay. Uh, let me out, please. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hold on. Oh, damn it. This is, like, kind of awkward. Alright, sweet. Free, uh, free better thing for Tina. Okay, cool. The only problem is that now that makes it sort of worth it to check because most of the time you're gonna get 80 gold, 100 gold, found a fucking bread or whatever, but sometimes, on rare occasions, you'll get something good, so now that's gonna make me want to check them all the damn time. I bought a cottage that one of my friends recommended. It's in Braska. Oh, they're now mentioning, um, I think Braska's in the new land far away. New land? I'm pretty sure the land has always been there, so. I retire, I'll move there, okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so they loaned the whole house to me just to cook for the party. I wonder why people in this town go to such extremes. Because they're rich. That's what rich people do. They just go to extremes with their shit and flaunt their wealth and shit. Well, at least now we know that this whole house is converted into a kitchen to have parties for the other place. They shouldn't have used this whole house as a kitchen. So they, they actually, there wasn't. That wasn't a kitchen in the other room. Or the other house. Okay, I don't know. It still doesn't look like they could get a lot of cooking done in a place like this. It still looks like a regular fucking house. Hey, we got a separate uh, armor shop. I wonder if this will have better shit. Armor shop. Oh, uh, now they're selling the quick robe. Okay. Oh, damn it. I just bought, um... 
I just bought armor for what's his face and didn't even get, I don't think we even did any battles and didn't use it. Uh, I'll buy one for Cody just because uh, he needs it more, just because he's lower level. I mean, I could probably sell his current armor and maybe buy a second one depending on how much it sells for, but I would rather just save the gold at this point. Uh, for w in case there's like a weapon shop, I don't. I haven't seen if there's maybe a weapon shop. Uh, what six? Okay. I mean, not great, but it's okay. I mean, what else? I mean, what are we hoarding gold for? I mean, we got it. Might as well spend it. Or you know, you know, spend some of it. You know. Okay, fur coat we're not gonna need. I mean, hopefully not. We'll sell the leather armor. Okay, so I can technically buy another one if I needed it. But finding that uh, that quick robe actually saved me, uh, what, 1300 So that's pretty good. Okay, item shop. Do you sell moon drops? I would like moon drops very much. I mean, even if they're like 500 each, it'd still be worth it. Uh, nope. Okay. I did uh, buy a couple restores off camera. Because I figured now that we have... I was about to say, I'm hitting X, why wouldn't it back me out? Now that we have more people and someone who's a low level who uh, there's a better chance that he'll just die more often, so I went ahead and bought like two or three more restorers to make sure I had a, a couple. Hey, it's uh, shit for our new character. It's always, I really like it when they do this, um, where they're sort of like foreshadowing. They're like, hey, here's a weapon that nobody can fucking use. Wonder what that means. Okay, so the question is. Boy, I'm just getting. It just It's kind of weird how we just turned into now we're just using guns. Okay, so the spear was 900. Man, do I already want to buy better shit for them? I mean, I'm assuming this will be better because it's more expensive. I don't remember how much the Vulcan gun was. Uh, I mean, I feel bad. I mean, I spent 900 on that shield and it, I'm already like upgrading or whatever, having not even used it. But I didn't know that there'd be a second uh, shop in this town or, uh, you know, third or whatever. All right. Let's just fucking do it. Do attack? That wasn't fucking worth it. Okay, so if we sell the spear, we maybe we'll have enough for a uh, thing for Thomas. Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, okay, hopefully it's better than like two. But even if, even if it's not, oh fucking well. Damn it, it is only two. Well, I mean, I mean, it doesn't seem like a very good use of money, but at some point later in the game, I'm going to be getting, like, that much from, like, one battle, so, well. Okay, so it was slightly better. So, in case you wanted to leap, in case you didn't buy the previous shit, you could, like, leapfrog and then get uh, two levels better of shit or whatever. Okay. Sigh, sigh. I can't sleep. What is that noise in the room? It's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> okay, so nothing in here. So I gotta figure out what to do here now, I suppose. Did I go? Okay, I went into those shops. I'm assuming I can't just like unlock the door from the other side like in uh, Silent Hill. Uh, not sure if we're gonna play any Silent Hill games on the channel. I mean, I'm not against it, I just, I've already just I've already played them <laughs> I played the first one twice I've played the second one I think three times and I played the third one twice and the fourth one I got to the very end uh, but I didn't technically beat it so anyway uh, I guess I'm just gonna walk around uh, and find what to do it's it's it is nice when you don't know what to do at the end of the episode because then you can just start the episode like when you find the progress thing so We'll, uh, we'll make progress in the next one. We'll cut back. We'll start the next one with me finding out what to do, hopefully. And we'll go from there. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.